Okay, so now we're going to go in and finish uh, making the cover and uh, uh, cutting it out. Sorry. So um, I went a little ahead of myself. I'm going to back up here. So we're at this point right there. So here's where we're going to go. We're going to thicken this body and we're going to make a new component of it. And we're going to... Uh, I'm just going to uh, highlight every th every face to thicken like that, and then you'll see it adds a thickening layer to it. But I don't want to add it to the foam body, which is what I'm currently doing. I want to make it new, so it'll show up as a part two down here. And thickness-wise, just put in one millimeter. That works out really good uh, for these foam covers that we 3D print. And it stays nice and flexible, uh, so you can bend it to get your phone on and it doesn't crack. And so you're going to see that's 0.39 inches. I could even round that up to 0.4, I guess, 0.4 inches. And, um, and again, it's new, so I say yes. Oh, sorry, 0 0.04. Try that again. So thicken everything. And... And new. Uh, there we go. There it is. And now I'm going to rename it. I'm going to name it iPhone. iPhone 8D V1. iPhone plus actually I'll just use the 1.0 version 1.0 I can have many versions here that I could play with a lot of different stuff in the same model so that's always handy to do that okay so cutouts just uh, you're gonna want to select that plane to make the side cutouts that face to make the top cut out and you want to select that one to make the bottom cut out you're just making all these sketch these all just start as sketches uh, so usually the camera needs to cut out in the back side um, you may have something on the top for like a microphone jack this will probably have for an iphone it has one button and the bottom has speakers and the charger port and this one's got the volume buttons and the mute button so i got to make a cutout for every one of those so i'm gonna i usually start with the top one so I go here and I say new sketch on that top face. I look at it and watch this. This is easy. Just go to the offset tool, select that face, reverse the direction of the offset. Keep it as minimal as possible because the longer this lip is, the harder it is to snap in your phone and then it'll crack the cover. So I learned this from making three generations of this current phone, 3D printing it, testing it. So uh, make that a small amount. Something like that will probably work. I may even go even to a smaller amount. You don't need much at all to hold that phone in there. I say OK. Clear out of the sketch. And now I can highlight that and extrude cut it. Remove. And... Uh, the merge of it is important, guys. That's what do you want to cut through. Remember, there's a foam body here, which I'm going to no-show. I don't even need that anymore. So um, so again, I, I don't want to cut through the backside of this, right? So I'm going to pull up that cutting tools just so it goes right into the middle of the foam to cut the top of it off. There we go. See how that's looking like a cover? And now I just have to come over here and start making my side cutouts, OK? So this is where I had the advantage of having my picture. Again, if you don't have your picture, just reference the phone. Um, sorry, is that the picture? I forgot where I put it now. Don't need that one anymore. I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to go make my side cut out here for that top button and from my picture I can see where it's at. So that will help me. So I click on that face and I'll say create a new sketch. And then I will uh, create, all I do here guys, quite simply is 